Although Tesla continues to be the most popular electric vehicle brand in the U.S., its dominance is waning as more accessible alternatives with almost comparable technological and manufacturing standards become available. However, despite the heightened competition and Tesla's struggles with its stock price, a number of reasons might push the company's stock price up to more than 570% in the upcoming years. It's possible that the FED is holding off on raising interest rates. Because of rising market expectations, officials will probably increase interest rates again, but this time they'll choose a 0.5 percentage point or 50 basis point increase. Governor of the Federal Reserve Christopher Waller has stated that if the economic data cooperates, he is willing to scale back the pace of interest rate increases in the near future. He claims that the recent data has given him more assurance and has led him to think about lowering the hike by 50 basis points. The Federal Open Market Committee, which sets interest rates, is scheduled to convene in December. Waller has stated that he won't be passing judgment on the anticipated rate hike until he has seen more data, particularly the upcoming PCE inflation report and the upcoming employment report. Lael Brainerd, vice chair of the Federal Reserve, also expressed her optimism on the recent U.S. inflation data, which indicated slower price growth and predicted that the FED will likely soon scale back the amount of its interest rate rises. Additionally, Brainerd noted that the inflation data has been encouraging and that it is likely soon suitable to switch to a slower pace of rate rises. Could this signal a turning point for Tesla? Watch to find out more. To stay up to date on everything Tesla is doing, remember to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell before we get started. Musk said that Tesla would likely conduct a substantial repurchase next year, perhaps between $5 and $10 billion, on the company's key three earnings call. He did, however, stress that the Tesla board will make the final decision. While Tesla may be awaiting board clearance, it's also possible that the company is delaying this repurchase while the world economy improves. Stock prices often fall during a recession, which makes the markets unstable and causes share prices to fluctuate wildly. Investors are now under pressure to respond swiftly to any whiff of news, good or bad. And some investors may completely withdraw their funds from the stock market in a bid to flee for safety. However, Tesla may be in a far better position to conduct a share repurchase if the rapidly declining market scenario is maintained under control. Despite the challenging environment, research by Kathy Wood and Ron Barron has suggested that Tesla would be in an excellent position to succeed. Kathy Wood a longtime supporter of Tesla, recently purchased shares of the automaker after its stock price fell as a result of dismal third-quarter delivery figures. Woods RC Investment Management supported funds purchased 132,213 shares of Tesla, the company's first Tesla acquisition since mid-June, days after the automaker lost its investment in ARK's primary fund, which it had held for around four and a half years. ARK Invest purchased Tesla shares in June. The most recent purchases made by ARK Invest and its CEO are additional proof that Kathy Wood views the low stock price of Tesla as a fantastic purchasing opportunity. In October, Kathy Wood and her colleagues at ARK Invest claimed that if Tesla were to create a product that it could sell for half the price of its current vehicles, it could tenfold the size of its whole addressable market. Musk revealed that Tesla is working on an electric vehicle that will cost around half as much as the Model 3 in Y during the company's third quarter earnings call. Tesla, according to Kathy Wood, offers a solution to the current economic crisis. She claims that innovation will help address the energy crisis and problems with supply chains, and that consumer preference for EVs like Tesla will continue to rise. Wood and Ron Barron, CEO of Barron Capital, both think that Tesla shares will eventually become unaffordable to purchase. Having originally purchased a stake in Tesla in 2014, Ron Barron has long been a Tesla bull. The billionaire owns a combined interest in Tesla worth around $4 billion between Barron Capital's assets and those of his client. Recently, Barron told CNBC that he anticipates Tesla will produce astronomical profits that will eventually raise the company's capitalization to around $4.5 trillion. Barron predicts that the value of the stock of the automaker will increase by more than 570%. He claims that Tesla can earn around a trillion dollars in revenue by 2030 if it manufactures 20 million cars annually, 
and sells its EVs for around $50,000 each. A 15 times multiple under $300 billion in operating profits will eventually give $4.5 trillion, assuming the automaker generates operating profits at a rate of approximately 30%. While it may sound plausible, Tesla's current market value of $562 billion would need to increase by more than 570% in order for it to reach Barron's desired valuation. Barron's bullish value is based primarily on the assumption that Tesla will sell around 20 million cars annually and significantly scale up its operations over the next 10 years. Tesla is on target to sell just over 1 million cars this year, and Musk has already announced that the automaker intends to create 20 million electric vehicles by 2030. Elon Musk has high hopes for Tesla's future, to the point that he thinks the electric vehicle manufacturer has what it takes to overtake Apple as the most valuable business in the world. In the past, Musk has expressed the opinion that Tesla may be worth more than Apple. Around $700 billion was the company's estimated value at the time, which is less than what Tesla is currently valued at based on its market capitalization. But Musk has changed his mind and now thinks Tesla might be worth much more in the future, more than not just Apple, but also Saudi and Renko put together as well. Elon Musk values Tesla at $4.5 trillion, which would require an increase in value from the automaker's present $566 billion value to $4.4 trillion. Elon Musk thinks this is achievable, though he emphasizes that it won't happen soon. Tesla will eventually outperform Apple in terms of valuation if it can raise its estimate to $4.5 billion, as the firm is currently valued at $2.25 trillion. Barron concurs with Musk's assertion that Tesla has the potential to surpass Saudi Re and Apple in size. Barron emphasizes in his evaluation of Tesla that the bull case he had outlined is only based on the revenue contribution of Tesla vehicles and does not take into account the other areas of the company, such as things it's working on like the robots, the FSD technology, and batteries, thus giving him some degree of margin of safety on his investment. Ron Barron added that a lot of advancements may be anticipated from Tesla because Musk believes that robots will eventually be larger than automobiles. Tesla's humanoid robot will eventually be the most valuable aspect of the company's operations, according to a prediction made by Musk earlier this year. The importance of the robot will become clear in the upcoming years, the Tesla CEO said on the first quarter earnings call. The humanoid robot will ultimately be worth more than the auto industry and full self-driving. He continued, for people with insight or who pay close attention. The goal of the Tesla robot is to eliminate hazardous, dull, and repetitive duties by being amiable and navigating around an environment populated by people. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, continues to have a devoted following, and Ron Barron has previously stated that he is not concerned that Musk's recent choice to invest in Twitter will serve as a distraction. According to him, Musk's investment in Twitter is assisting his overall marketing efforts, and the Tesla and Twitter CEO will continue to put his attention on creating things that matter. Barron has high hopes for both Tesla and SpaceX, a sister business of Tesla. Barron revealed that he recently made investments in travel and healthcare industries during a previous interview with CNBC. He also disclosed that he has increased his stake in SpaceX by another $100 million. Tesla shares, according to Barron, will be worth between $500 and $600 in 2025, and it will be worth somewhere about $4.5 trillion in 8 to 10 years. Can Tesla achieve this cost? Comment below and let us know. Don't forget to share your assessment of Tesla. Click on the following video on your screen if you'd like to learn more about what Tesla has been up to recently. Hello there.